Hello there, Mr. H here. Today we're going to read a story called The Lion's Share, A Tale of Having Cake and Eating It Too. Oh, we're going to be working on a lot of projects with, uh, with maybe fractions and stuff like that, and we're going to come up with a couple activities for this, so if you follow along to this book, it'll be pretty good. Every year at the start of spring, the lion invited a small group of animals to join him for a special dinner. The ant had never dined with the king before. She was very nervous and wanted to make a good impression. When the day came, she arrived exactly on time, not a minute too soon, not a minute too late. The ant. Some time later, the beetle arrived, then the frog, the macaw, the warthog, the tortoise, the gorilla, the hippo, and finally, the elephant. They were all late. When dinner was served, the ant was shocked at how the others behaved. The elephant talked about himself constantly. The hippo never wiped her mouth. The gorilla threw his food. The warthog tried to eat the, le the flowers. What strange manners, thought the ant. She looked at the lion who said nothing. After dinner, the table was cleared. A large cake was brought out for dessert. The lion passed it to the elephant. Please help yourself, he said. The elephant looked at the cake. I could eat this in one bite, he thought, but that might seem greedy. With a grand gesture, he cut the cake in half and passed the rest to the hippo. What a pig, thought the hippo, but if he's taking half, I'm taking what's left. She made a slice down the middle and handed the remaining one quarter of the cake to the gorilla. This continued around the table as each animal took half of the remaining cake and passed the rest on until it finally reached the ant as she struggled to cut the two, the tiny slice in two. It crumbled to pieces on her plate. All the animals turned to her. Typical ant, said the elephant. She only thinks of herself when it came to me. I shared it. I know, said the hippo. We all did. Doesn't she know the king hasn't eaten yet? scoffed the tortoise. Who was sitting in her cake simply shooking her head in disgust. The ant was mortified. Surely she'd never be invited back. Forgive me, my king. I'm ashamed to say there's nothing left to share. But if you allow it, it would be my honor to bake a special strawberry sponge cake just for you tomorrow. It is my grandmother's recipe, and I think you'll enjoy it. The king smiled. Thank you very much, he said. Who does she think she is? Thought the beetle. He scampered over to the lion's plate. My king, to show my thanks, I would like to bake you two cakes tomorrow. Double chocolate fudge. Hey, king, said the frog. I'm going to bake you four raspberry layer cakes. That's twice as many. I can top that, announced the McCall. I shall bake the king twice as many carrot cakes. Hey! And that shall have them tomorrow. Twice as many mud cakes, snorted the warthog. How many is that exactly? Sixteen, said the tortoise. Really? said the warthog. That sounds like a lot. Maybe for you, said the tortoise, but I will happily bake twice that. Thirty-two apple walnut cakes will be ready by tomorrow afternoon. The gorilla looked at the tortoise. He didn't like the tortoise. And although the gorilla had never baked anything before, he somehow found himself offering twice as banana crumb cakes. Sixty-four, asked the king. Are you sure? The gorilla nodded, but he didn't look sure. All eyes turned to the hippo. Naturally, she stammered, it will be my honor to bake twice as many spice cakes. Let me see. She took out a piece of paper and began to scribble some numbers. Her hoof was shaking as she put down the pencil. This can't be right, she said finally. The gorilla grabbed the piece of paper. 128, he announced with a grin. The elephant was crestfallen, but he had to top the hippo. Elephants were twice as good as hippos. With a deep breath, he announced, And I, the great elephant, shall bake twice as many as the hippo. 
246 peanut butter pound cakes. 256, corrected the tortoise. Oh, for goodness sakes, cursed the elephant. That night, the ant baked her cake for the king. She took her time and measured everything carefully. She spread the frosting as smoothly as she could and then decorated the top with sprinkles. It was a very fine cake. The next morning, she delivered it to the king. Such a fine cake, said the lion. Won't you share it with me? The end. All the divisions of the cake, as the animals took away piece by piece, you can see a gorilla's hands in there. It goes down to 1 16th, 1 32nd, 1 64th, and 1 28th before it got to the ant. I think that was the beetle slice. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading of the lion's share. Really think about how much the cake decreased as the time went on, and also think about how much the cakes went up at every time when the animals, as the animals promised more cakes to the lions. Hope you guys have a good day. See you around.